one front coming through and somebody's going to get some rain out of it but I don't know who most of it when it comes in from that direction there head south where it is down there or around to the north and then comes in up. This is the swale with a slight fall towards them. It's supposed to hold water for a period of time and let it um, subside into the subsoil and um, get the water table going again. Got a little bit of work to do on it and hopefully I'll put a couple of more of these in. Um, so. The uh, water penetration into the soil, I guess, helps us a, a little bit, but it'll, it'll probably help more so down on the flats below our property. And that water table gets going again. This fire was put in based on key line farming. And I guess the key lies right at the end of the swale up here. So everything basically originates from this point. Everything we do around here comes from that point. This is about all. We've, um, it looks like just with this bit of rain that um, it's put a bit of, put of water into the dam. Plus a bit of other stuff by the look of it. Lack of rain, I guess. Gets very dry, dries right out. Every time we seem to establish a bit of topsoil, the wind blows it all away. I've stacked all this timber here. It's not left lying around or anything. I've stacked all this timber here, but you can see the way that it accumulates the runoff and hopefully we'll establish some topsoil here. Also stops a bit of pollution. Be doing more of this yet. I've got another one down here, as we can see. So you can see that it's um, pulling up quite a bit. And then of course down at the track down there it, um, is another barrier before it gets off the property. What's happening here is um, supposed to be what's happening when we had the original shed put in there was uh, the guy that um, that ordered the concrete ordered a little bit too much so we had it dumped here and made ourselves a Ford just got a little bit of a pipe here to help it on its way but it's supposed to run over the concrete like that we've had one load of gravel come onto the place and that's lasted us about seven years I guess if you if you're um, cautious the way you drive up and down the track you don't have to do a lot with it don't get bogged if you went like a bat out of hell, I guess you've got to work on your track all the time. But you have to be a dickhead to do something like that anyway.
What's happening after the rain, Tess? Having a poo in our pooing spots. Who have I got here? Got Sunny. And the dickheads over here. The two big dickheads. Go nuts. Had enough rain for a while or what? Here's Miss Tess and the two big fellows. Go up on your back feet, you two. Just give us a bit of a rear. Well, you can see where I've fed out all the hay and it's still sitting there. Where we try and establish topsoil, most of it's blown away. But you can see the benefit of leaving some sticks around, I guess. Might not be the tidiest in the world, but you can um, notice how everything that blows tends to accumulate. And what I've got a little bit further over, I will clean up, tidy up some of that and put it into those um, those stops in the gully to stop a bit of runoff. But up here I've got a regen area and we'll have a look up here. Well, as I said, the wind tends to blow topsoil everywhere. So I've decided to create, try and create this little bit of a regeneration area and piled a few sticks and you can see the difference. Why, you well may say, why have I cut down all these trees? Well, the reason is because last year the horses destroyed about 50 odd of them by ring barking them. But the trees here have got amazing ability to regenerate, so it could be just a way of, um, could be just a way of um, nature's way of pruning. Guys kicking their feet up after the rain. There goes else. Oh, there she did go. What are you people doing now? You're getting kicking your heels up or what? We've got a pooing happening here. nuts you come and behave themselves you are you tell them again What? Big bastard. 